Hey guys, what a great day, huh? Great day to be at the beach. So let's say you spent all day at the beach. Let's say you spent all day camping or you're off-roading or you're overlanding. And you know, you, you just want to take a shower. You just need a place to get some privacy and go to the bathroom. Well, what are we going to do? I want you to look at this thing here on the side of the Bronco. It's an enclosure, right? So it was sent to me by these guys at Brodick. And uh, it's made for the Ford Bronco. And you can mount it on the factory roof rack that comes with it. But in my case, I mounted it to my roof rack. And you can mount it to anything that has T-slots. So I'm going to open it up right now, show you what it's all about, show you how easy it is to open it up, store it, get in it. And um, you make your own informed decision whether you like it or don't like it. But it's something to really take a good look at, okay? So let's bring you in closer. So there she is open. Comes in real handy, has about four feet by four feet. Um, it has a roof that you can install if you want to, but it just gives you a little privacy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the garage and we're gonna unbox it. And I have it mounted on my Maverick and I'll show you how to open it and close it. And we'll be right back. Open this box and see what comes inside. Really nice set of directions. It's pretty straightforward, but you got everything you need right there. Big bag of bolts, some ground spikes, nuts. We'll talk about that in a second. In here is the shower, the enclosure, the bathroom, whatever you need it to be. And there she is. Aluminum backing with two T-slot tracks. Let's see what we got in this bag. All right, so we got four steel ground spikes. Spike in the four corners. Make sure you bring a hammer with you or something. It all depends on your situation. I'm going to talk about these brackets in a second. And we got a bag of bolts that will fit inside these T-slots. Now on the brackets. This particular enclosure is made for the Ford Bronco with the factory roof rack. So because of that, it has this upper bracket. Okay? And you can see here is the shape of the Ford Bronco upper roof rack. Now, just because it's made for the Ford Bronco doesn't mean you need to use it on a Ford Bronco. All you got to do is take that off if you don't have the factory Bronco roof rack. And you just want to use this piece here. And that's what I'm going to connect it into the aftermarket rack on the back of my Ford Bronco. Okay? And what this rack's going to do is it's going to go in here. Oh, let me move this up so you can see it. This rack's going to bolt into these T-slots. And you can adjust it to whatever you need it to be on your application. Because remember, every application is totally different. So they give you these stainless screws. And a bolt. And you just slide that in. Bolt it to your bracket. Now, I personally would want some T-slot bolts. You know, they're made for this. They're not just regular bolts. So I'm going to place the brackets on, and then I'm going to bolt it to the rack, and then I'll bring you outside and show you all about it, okay? But remember, it can go on any application. It says Bronco, but it can go on any vehicle. This type of rack, I'm using a different type of rack on the Bronco, and uh, we'll check it out. We're going to do the Bronco. My videos are just to show you the products and see if you like them, okay? So if you happen to be interested in one of these things and you're not really sure what it's all about or what it looks like, I'm going to help you show you that, okay? So let's um, let's put it on 
and I'll show it to you. All right, let's open it up, and I'll show you how to open it up. And trust me, I know a lot of you are going to say, well, after you open it up, you're never going to get it closed the way it is again. It's so easy to store. So we'll do the pro whole process. We'll open it up, I'll show you the whole thing, and then we'll close it up, and I'll show you how easy it is to store it back into that carrying case, okay? So let's open it up. Two really nice quality zippers. No plastic. We don't want any plastic. Right here, you're going to have two Velcros. So we're going to take the first Velcro off, second Velcro off, and we're going to let her down. Now this is the roof. We're going to put the roof on later. You can. That's optional. It's up to you. But we're going to keep it right here for now. So then you just swing this out, and you swing this out, and you unfold it, now it has locking mechanisms right here, I'll show you closer, but there's one, and there's two, now I'm on concrete, but it comes with those spikes, so if you were on grass or whatever, you would just spike it down. But what I'm going to do is just put a couple of pavers there, it's just so we can hold it taut, and I'll show it. I'll, I'll show it to you. All righty, so there she is, opened up. So now, like I said, you can add a shower, outdoor shower. You can add a porta potty, have a bathroom. You can have a changing room, whatever you need it to be. Here's the roof. Let me show you how the roof goes on. Fairly easy. Put the front corner on. As you can see, all the way around, it has Velcro, right? And we're going to Velcro her in place. And then let's bring the roof over. There she is with the roof on. Now, this is adjustable. So, if you have a really high truck or whatever, you can adjust it up or down. You can leave a gap here. Whatever works for you. So, how do we get in? Come on over. I'll show you. There's a really nice zipper right here. Let me open that up. And as you can see on the bottom here, there's weighted material inside sewn in, so it keeps it down nice and taut. And then we'll head on in. Put her in there. And that's how we'll enter it. And you can see it's all this reflective material. Here's the hinges. They lock in. All nice aluminum. Okay. Adjustable strap. This is the Velcro that holds it together. And this is pretty cool right here. It has this zipped in area where you can access the inside of your vehicle. So if you have a sliding door, if you have an SUV and you got a sliding window or you got a truck and you want to access something in here, you can. It has a soap pocket right here. So you can add soap or shampoo or whatever you want to put in there, your cell phone while you're getting washed up or whatever. It's actually pretty nice. Nice thick aluminum, probably three-quarter inch or so. Oh, welds. And it's a reasonably priced item. And it's got an inside zipper, so you can close it or open it from the inside also. Hey. There's a million and one uses for that. Okay, here's the part you've been waiting for. Can I put it back together? And how hard is it? Let me show you. It's pretty easy. First thing we're going to do 
is we're going to drape the roof over the top. That's it. Okay. Then we're going to grab this corner, the corner opposite to the zipper. We're going to lift it up and we're going to fold it in on itself. Okay. It has these bars. So we're going to fold it in on itself like so. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to release the top bar, bring that in, tuck it in. Then we're going to come over here, release the bottom bar, bring that in. So now we tuck her all in. This is the roof. We bring her all in. That's all folded up good. And we tuck them in one after the other, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab the bottom. And we're going to just real snugly roll her up. And when we roll, I'm going to roll the roof in with it. So when I roll, I'm going to roll the roof in with it. And we're going to bring it right up, right up. Tuck those in. Tuck that all in. Okay. So now remember... We have the Velcro loops, so we're going to get the top of the Velcro, the bottom of the Velcro. Loop that up. And connect the Velcro, okay? I'm going to tuck this shower thing in there. Tuck that little basket in there. So we're going to bring her in. Go through the loop. Pull it together and Velcro her. And then stick all these on the top. We're going to bring the case over. Bring the case over. And then we're going to close it off. Tucking everything in. Making sure nothing gets stuck on the zipper. And there she is. Not bad for my first try. When I do it again, I'm going to try to tighten it up a little more. But she's back in there stored and out of the way. As you can see, there's plenty of room in it. Even for a big guy like me. You could probably even have two people in there if you want. Just gives you a little place to get away from prying eyes and do whatever you want to do. And this is with the roof off. And uh, this is what it looks like on the Bronco. And you can see she pins down into the ground. I got it hooked up to my roof rack over there. On the Bronco factory roof rack would be more towards the door because they go from the front to the middle. But um, it's a great little enclosure. Just to, you know, give you a little privacy. All right, so let's close it up. See what she looks like closed up. That's it for the video. Hope you liked it. If you did, do me a favor. Subscribe. Leave a comment. Hit the notification button. And uh, you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.